What is up you guys? My name is Selena and today's going to be a new tutorial showing you guys how to create this blurry edged RGB look to your videos. And this was inspired by Andreas Hem and I made another tutorial kind of similar to this. I'll have that video linked in the description, but I think this effect is a lot more better and I think you guys will find this a lot easier too and it just looks a lot better. <laughs> so let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so I have my two clips right here. So I'll show you guys later how to do this fast with a whole sequence of clips, but first I'm just going to show you guys with a single clip. So first you're going to want to drag the video and hold alt on your keyboard and then drag it to the second line. And so now you've created a duplicate copy of the image. And now I'll just be working with the first clip here. I'm going to go to effects and search up blur and we're going to choose fast blur and you're going to put that on the clip and then you're going to bring the blurriness up so you can do it to whatever your heart desires but I'm going to keep it at around 40 ish and then we're going to go to under the opacity where we can create a mask so we're just going to press that circle so we can just create an ellipse and then we're going to press inverted so that the outer edges of the circle are all blurry and then you can go to mask expansion and just expand it out so that the blurriness only covers like the edges and then you're gonna want to go to mask feather and feather it so that you can't really see like the mask harsh outlines so it will blend in better okay so now if you look back at it it'll be a nice blur on the outside so yeah that was super fast and simple okay so let's do the rgb effect so first i'm just gonna select the first layer and then the second layer and drag it and then press command D so we can create a nested sequence and it'll just basically combine the two clips so we have it just on one video line. So now we're gonna go to effects and search up color balance and we're gonna press the RGB one. So we can put it on our nested sequence and then we're gonna hold alt on our keyboard on the sequence and we're gonna drag it to the second video line and then the third video line so we have three of the same clip. Okay, so now on our top video line, we're gonna go to our color balance and then we're gonna go to green and change that to zero and also go to blue and change it to zero. And then we're gonna go to our second layer and we're gonna turn red to zero and then blue to zero. And then go to our bottom clip and change red to zero and green to zero. And then you're gonna go back to our, your first video line and change the blending mode to screen and then do the same thing for the second video line. Now if you go to any of the clips and you adjust the scale, you can play around with it to create a color that you like. So I kind of like to keep my top layer at 101 and then my bottom layer at 103 and my second layer at around 102. And it has like a subtle blur and I think it looks pretty cool. So just play around with the scale to get a color that you like. Sometimes Andreas likes to add some distortion on the outer edges. So if you really want to, you can go to effects and search a lens distortion. And then add it onto your first sequence. And adjust the curvature till you get something you like. It'll adjust the RGB. But you can actually copy and paste that to your other sequences if you want. Okay, so now... I want to show you guys how you can do it with an entire project. I'm going to delete the second layer on the second line. So let's just imagine there's like 50 clips and we want to just combine it into one. I'm just going to add one clip and it'll work the same way. So you're going to select all of your clips, but in my case, just two of them. And then I'm going to go and drag it to the second video line. And then with your second video line, you're going to select all your clips and change it to a nested sequence so that it all combines into one sequence and then on the nested sequence you can add the fast blur effect and the masking and the lens corrections if you want and then you would select both the nested sequence and then the two other clips and command d to combine it into one and then you just do the rgb whole process again so yeah that's how you would do it for a whole sequence so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This looks like a super cool effect. I'm definitely going to be using it in the future. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.